Hello everybody, tonight we are talking about dragons and ban lists here with Team Absolution. Make sure you stick around. Hello everybody, welcome to Damage Check Team Absolutions Roundtable Discussion on Everything Vanguard, bringing you spoilers, news, and everything of the like. I'm joined today with... Travis. Jorge. Braxton. Jorge said his name very Venezuelan today. I don't know why that was about, but we'll talk about that a different time. So, Vanguard Championship Circuit, that's Japan's... ARG. ARG, basically. Yeah. Um, that's what they do, that's where they do their, they, the Duke the Duke and Stride the Stride, as we like to say here. Um, we like to make Braxton, what took first? What team took first? Um, what was the decks? The decks were OTT, uh, World Pound and Seekers, and uh, Kagura. That OTT, though, Sorry, Travis. did you just say OTT? Yes, yeah, this new clan that came out in the Generation 1 extra boost, in the Generation 1 booster, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Great new clan? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, tell me what build it was and why you think this deck. One or took their team, helped take their team. Because when I think about the team league, you can think that like almost every deck's gonna have dot tags yeah. and seekers. I mean, they're so good, they are on consideration lists. We'll yeah. talk about that later. But why is why OTT? Well, OTT actually helped them win the tournament because the report is that this deck won every single round from round two onwards. Literally, won everything else. And the reason is stacking. The deck just le legally allows you to stack the deck. It legally allows you to cheat. It is not fair. Cheating is not fair. Yeah, I, I never thought that... And this goes back, you know, it uses Tsukiyomi. It's Tsukiyomi build. It's Tsukiyomi BTO3. 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 Plus other stuff. Toms. BTO2. Uh, our, our base Tom, Susano, and yeah. the strides from BG BTO1. Yeah. Yes. Um, to stack the deck. <coughs> So, <coughs> Travis, you've been playing Vanguard since, like, the beginning. Yeah. Did you ever thought you'd see a day where OTT would come back and be in the meta once again? To be honest, not not really. I didn't never thought it would come back because Tsukiyomi in its heyday with uh, MLB and uh, the original Dose, it was insane. And then everything started to come out, like Limit Break, Legion, yada, yada, yada. The fact that it has come back, like, that, that shows, like, how good Stride really is, so... I mean, I'm pretty happy to see it, and I'm not too happy to play it, though. I don't think anyone's happy yeah. to play it. Hey, hey um, wait. I am happy to play it. I am yeah. happy to play it. Uh, what was weird is that, so the clan spread 33 Kagero. <coughs> uh, there were also, there's a, if you go look on, we'll put a link in the description for the blog post, you can look at exactly what the sub-clan distribution was. But there are 33 Kageros, 32 Royal Paladins, 23, you know, the Royal Paladin Kagero, like I said, I think every team. I had to at least have one of those, yeah. if not both. Uh, 23 OTT, which only two, two were what? Tsukiyomi. The Tsukiyomi build. The most one well is Susano Koko. Which is weird because whoever brewed up this Tsukiyomi build, yeah. if you're out there, if you're watching, if you ever watch this video, I hope you do because we're awesome. I'm very <laughs> impressed with that brew. It does take a lot of skill. That, whoever. <coughs> Legitimately, out of all the decks, like the Gear Chronicles, the Dota X, all of those decks, for you to take it way back, and I mean way back, and then bring it back, that's that takes some skill, I'm not going to lie. You did some brewing, and, you know, shout out to you. And it paid off. Uh, two Sukis. But well, I also hate you because everything went up in price. Yeah. Well, not yet. Get your Sukis now. And your Toms. Um, and your Toms. Three Gear Chronicle, which is sad. Main character of the new show, Can't See Play. Poor Boo Boo. No, I bet that. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I didn't even expect that. I really thought your Chronicle was going to come out and just start punching people in the face. But, uh, I, mean, but I think it, it does. It did it first, and then we didn't. And we, we never did. saw it again. I think it just broke down because you are right. It does nothing before break. Down. It does nothing before break. You, you either spry them, you don't, absolutely nothing. Uh, and it has no advantage in yet. Well, there's nothing. 20 Nova Grapplers. Hopefully, we'll see them come up soon again. Big plasma. Um, I do like Nova Grapplers. I know Braxton over here, you love Nova Grapplers. They're pretty fun, yeah. Um, Alright. Ten Shadow Paladins. Everyone's got to play the Shadow Paladins. Some DP. Four Dimensional Police. 
Three. Neo, those wait, 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 wait. So there were more Deep Blue players than Gear Chronicle players. <laughs> yup, yup. There were three Neo Nectar. So Neo Nectar <laughs> and Gear Chronicle. So, and this is Neo Nectar before, before the, the set. Before the set and the trial deck. I don't think they even have the trial deck. They don't have the trial. Deck. They don't have the trial deck yet. And there were still just as many Neo Nectar as Gear Chronicle players. Two Grand Blue, and then one single Touchy Kasa player for you fans. Shout out to you, Tanya Kane. Dinosaurs are alive! Don't tell me it was that quintet wall, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> they can get to their stride stack faster, play. <laughs> so, this is the first time we're going to talk about this on Damage Check. Ban lists. Back in the days when I played Yu-Gi-Oh, every time a ban list dropped, my wallet lost $800. Just cried. Um, it, it's bad. It's uh, the table. Luckily, though, it is a very rare case where Bushy Road just outright yeah. bans something and says, this can't see play. Mm -hmm. Usually, it's with a restriction, like mm -hmm. the MLB Alfred rule, like you can't play them together. But you only play a certain amount. Or, only play a certain amount, or you can only play a certain amount, or you can't play it as a Sony Vanguard, yeah. like Rip Conroe, Rip Barkle. Yeah. Um, and EDD saw that in two, things like that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about the ban list now. Uh, the new ban lists have released overseas. <laughs> Laurel is now down to one, everybody. Yes! This needed to happen, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so good. So I'm gonna hand this off to my boys, my panel, my friends, not my lovers. Aww. <laughs> Laurel's down to one. You're building a D-Please deck. Do you still run the one of Laurel? Yes. Absolutely. I didn't even run the deck, and I know that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason that card is at one. That card is insane. It's... Go ahead. I yes, hear right. restanding Vanguard's are good. Yeah, yeah, just a bit. So, Braxton, you run it, too? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. All right. So, we run it one of, here. Even though it's you a one-off, and it's probably inconsistent, but that one time you get it... You live yeah, the that one time you top deck Dark Hole... <laughs> Yeah, they yeah. literally look at you and scoop. They just say, "Do you have the laurel?" Yes, scoop. <laughs> okay. I hope to I hope to God that they don't get like a like a search. Oh Lord, a, like a search of grade one or something. Yeah, if D Police got a Morgan Rod, oh my God. <laughs> but anyways, D so got Laurel's down to one now. We're all sad about it, but not sad. About no, we're not sad at all. Um, I think <coughs> this shows us some interesting things about the future. One. It's one of the few times I've seen Bushy Road, if not the first time, just straight up say... You're at one. You're at one. It's usually two or and zero. And it's preemptive. And it's preemptive. Yeah, That's sure. the most important to me. I think it says that at some level, Bushy Road, well, I don't know, what, well, probably deep, 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 you know, there's like the Bushy Road that like trolls us, call them Bushy Trolls. There's the Bushy Road that drinks when they make their English translations. <laughs> bushy drunks. Bushy drunks. <laughs> and then there's Bushy Road that actually cares about us. Bushy gods. I think this is a message from the Bushy gods. <laughs> I think they're telling us that some broken something's thinks, coming out that's broke. Some broken things like yeah, that. I think that GEB01 is oh, going to bring the darkness of Deep Police. Yeah. I think it's going to be just some. Some did, stuff we are not ready for. Did you see one of the strike bosses? That man is standing on the planet Earth. That's how big that guy is. <laughs> we just can't handle that. You know what I mean? It's going to be insane. I can't wait to see it, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm excited, too. So we're going to move on from that. Uh, this is going to harken back to you two, my good old Kagura players over here. Uh, Calamity just, Tower Wyvern. Yeah. That's his name, right? Mm -hmm. uh, he's down to two. It's yeah. just one bet first to resist, now it's Wyvern. Oh my lord. They really don't like Kyro, right? They, I know, they <laughs> obviously don't want to see Kyro succeed anymore, but um... I mean, it's, it's not like he has been topping. Forever! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but anyway, about Wyvern. How, how many, how many, how many Kyro's, uh, what was that? How many Kyro's? Like 33 or 33. 33! <laughs> 33! I'm not gonna lie, Wyvern is so consistent in the Legion meta. It needs to go down to two. I wouldn't say it needs to be bad or nothing like that, but it does need to go down to two. Because I just fire off the greats and uh, dragon newts, and it's just like wyvern, ditch, draw. It's it's really consistent. I mean, it, that's not what made it busted, though. <laughs> that's true. It's true. <laughs> like, the, the, the cross, with the cross great bill, in conjunction with wyvern, you literally have an infinite advantage loop. Yeah. And it's dumb. Yeah. So yeah, well I'm gonna keep rewriting the cross. 
But that's her. Just, that's so just much too. That's just more legion. slave to the fire. You know what I mean? <laughs> legion. Yeah. And then you search. So you drew a card off the library, and then you search another grade three to either use for one of your skills yeah. or to stride next turn. Yeah. So you gain even more advantage. It's, it's, and then you do it again <laughs> until they're dead. It's a really good card. It's a very solid card. Like any card that just either draws you a card for essentially free because you're never using your soul in Kagura. So oh, yes, you don't Well, bur you're fighting it for burnout. That, that's that's true. It's very cheap. Burnout, I mean, the that's flipper, real, you know. Yeah. And a burnout can put another grade three on the bottom so yeah. when you rewrite the cross, yeah, you, you search, search it out. out. Like, I'd rather get more like, bullets. Yeah, like, so, all, I mean. like, it's not just, like, the wyvern, it's also the cross, the burnout, yeah. the, it's all the pieces working think, together to make this loop. Yeah, I think yeah. that's why we see Calamity Tower Wyvern Get drop down two, yeah. and uh, every single soul yeah. bus to yeah. draw one. You yeah, can. it's just the versatility of Kagura, I guess. Yeah. yeah, I mean you're playing against a lot of stuff, Travis. I'm not sure you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, moving on from that, Jorge considerations. Considerations. Who's under consideration? Think Saber Dragon and the Cross. You three are sad. I am happy. So I'm fine. <laughs> Why? Well, basically, I think they're they not want true to, Kagero. They, they want to see a healthy <laughs> you know. meta. They really want to see a meta that you know allows for many things. Right what now, yeah. Right now, if you're a team, you're running two spots on the field. One is Kagero and one is Think Saber, and there is no discussion about this. True. If, if you see the breakdowns, thirty-three Kagero, thirty-two Draw Paladin. That means that every team but one team was running those two things, basically. And I mean, it's good to be good. <laughs> I also think that a part of it has to do with uh, now that we're in like Vanguard G uh, and Adam Miles. I think they're, I think Bushy Road wants trying to, to make Adamile. try to push yeah. Adam as a sub clan. Yeah. But the thing is, when you got this honking beast <laughs> called Think Saver, there's no reason under the blue sky to run yeah. anything else. It's like, yeah, you can run Adam Miles, but he's just the second-hand boss to Thing Saver's <laughs> yeah. greatness, you know? Everyone just lives in his shadow. He's like... Like, Thing Saver is so good for so long. I mean, I, I can't wait to see a card that's going to top it. I'm not going to lie. I really want to see what's going to be the next I don't. Thing I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I like this game. It's not turn to you. That's true. That's true. But, I mean, uh, I understand if they if they hit it in two for at least a couple formats... Um, I'll be really sad. I wouldn't too. But I will not drop. I, I would not. If you have thing savers, and call it be run scared. Two. And run two. Don't sell them all. Keep them because at some MLB eventually came back up the four. That's true. Don't Dante eventually came up, came up, the, came up the four. Suki came up the four. And now look at the look at the Suki. And it's the same well, thing. Also, it's the same thing for Dote the X or the cross. Just for the simple fact that the great is so freaking good that it it makes up for the. <laughs> you know what I mean, like it's it's not as consistent. It's not as efficient, but. The great, don't sleep on that card, I'm telling you. Yeah. Right. Also, I guess I take into consideration that we also might, this is like their ban list. We might even see yeah, that. We never saw the ADD ban list. That's like, true. Like, That's no, true. no one plays the heavy stuff as much as they do compared yeah. to over here. I agree. But we have to move forward. Yeah. So, <laughs> here. Talk about here now. BT17. Woo! The dragons, they have arrived. The fires. And they're eating us all. Fire, fire. <laughs> Not even me. No, but Razor's for the win. That too. So, we're going to spend a little time talking about predictions. Uh, there's a lot of them in the set. In fact, there's like a stack of cards on the desk right now that are just like this high. All predictions. So, there's a lot of predictions. So, we're going to start off, Travis. You play straight predictions. Yeah, I play straight predictions. Uh, tell the audience, you know, why they think, why you tell them they should build this deck. Uh, so, I think you should just go full predictions with uh, Dragonute and the Great for the simple fact that you can ride Dragonute first and just pressure them, you know what I mean? So they're going to be really afraid <coughs> to get to put rare guards on the field because you're just going to blow them up and then deal damage. Even if they're at five, you can still blow up a row and not have to worry about it. I think that's good. The great is the great. Like, you can ride him, and they're still going to be afraid to put on, you know, the front row rare guards just because they know they're gonna you're going to swing for 20, they're going to take it, drive check, crit, crit, whatever. It, it's a really good deck. So, I mean, that's why I run straight predictions. Okay. Uh, Braxton. Y'all. You also play Perditions. Yeah. No. Kind of. You play Overlord. Yes. You make your argument. Okay. Why play Overlord? So, I play straight Overlord, and what that, your grade three bosses are the great, and whatever other Overlords you want. Personally, I use the Rebirth. You can also use the Break Ride. You can also use Delta. So, whichever, you know, itch you gotta scratch. But, the point of the deck is, basically, you abuse cheap retires. I mean, you have eight Overlords, so you can abuse Burnout, you were playing the great, so you also tech in Menace Laser, and you have Neoflame. 
So you have all these great twos plus your bosses and the starter Fargo to just gain so much advantage because you're depleting their resources. <coughs> um, and it's just amazing. You, it, it really is. The only problem is if you get stuck on not the great for too long. Then you just break and die. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Travis, I'm going to hand it back to you. A lot of people out there are going to want to build Overlord, uh, the great Dauntless Drive Dragon. Yeah. Or Drag New Dauntless. Or Drag New Dauntless. Uh, I'm going to uh, try to talk some of you out of this. You don't have to listen to me. This is just my opinion. But um, I've tried playing uh, Drag New Dauntless. Um, I played it against Revengers, uh, Thing Saver, all the top tier decks, because I like to get that you know information. The reason why it's bad, even though we now have the Limit Break 4 Enabler, is that you have to waste your turn riding Dauntless and then ride the Dragon You. By that time, if you're playing against a really skilled player, they're just gonna legion swing and do everything they can to kill you before you, you know, deal that damage. And doing the great dauntless, for some reason it's just so awkward. Like you break ride, you attack, you have to do dauntlesses first, then you attack the rear guard, then it's just I mean, it works, it's just very strange, and then ditching three cards and you know, you don't wanna be doing that. Also, if you do if you only had one rear guard with the Overlord, yeah. Don't the Strap Dragon, the skill's done, right? What are you talking about? Like, let's say I have I have a Vanguard and a rear guard only. Mm -hmm. One rear guard. Yeah. And he break rides the great over Don't the Strap. Right. He's, he's going to lose one stand, right? He's only uh, going to be able to act. Well, he's a, a, a smart he's player. Is it Dauntless first? Yeah, swing with Dauntless first. Swing with Dauntless first. Swing with Dauntless first. Yeah. 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 Okay, so it will never work. A smart player would go, we'll see what you're doing, and when you swing at the Vanguard, he will intercept with Burger Dutton. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. Just, so it's just really the, awkward. The thing guys. about that is, you still make out better because they're negging one if they can't guard the first swing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I agree with that. But I do think that the two builds that we first talked about yeah, are like either straight like straight Perditions right. or Dragonic Perditions. Right, like before the Great came out, but like to counter your thing, people played uh, Dauntless Dragon and it topped. So yeah. it does have... That was also it has potential. Right, and it has that potential. was also before the Great came out, yeah. Exactly. That's so what that's that's the great but there are better out. things to be, you know, investing your time and money in. Right. So. Okay. Uh, you know what? I was going to mention Pain Laser. No. But no, don't do, no, don't do it. It's not worth it. And you get to rewrite it every time, and these two bits, builds are just... These are better. Don't do any other boss. These two are the best. This guy, the do breakdown, do do whatever. Uh, that's damage check, guys. That's us. That's what we do. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and remember, may your heels always come with the sixth, and your, double, your drive checks always be double crits. Thanks, everybody. Bye.